Dear Commission members, dear Chairman of the Commission, uh, crew members are ready for the integrated qualification exam. We trust you with this. Do you have questions? No. Absolutely, yeah. We've trained a long time for this, so we're we're very ready for the mission. Uh, looking forward to this uh, final exam. Uh, really, I mean, after this, it's the, it's the culmination of the training. We then head down to quarantine for Baikonur. So uh, I'm just really excited about the next couple of weeks and the build-up to the launch. There are lots of similarities between training for uh, the two missions on either a Soyuz or a shuttle because both are very dynamic vehicles. and. Uh, and during our training and, and during our exam today, we plan for worst case scenario, and that way the crew is, is very ready. You know, some of the differences are in terms of techniques on how that, that approach is completed, but in general, both are very effective in preparing the crew. This integrated simulator that is located behind us uh, is rather accurately uh, modeling uh, different processes that happen with a real transportation vehicle in space. It models those processes. And we practice all the main uh, modes uh, that are programmed in the simulator. And they allow us uh, to operate in space as, as if we were in the simulator. Very frequently, cosmonauts um, point out that they feel as if they were still in the simulator. And that is a good assessment uh, for the simulator and um, high assessment for the people who perform the simulations here. There can be uh, a huge, enormous number of situations. We, uh, they can change over 30 parameters and make the, them off nominal. And using those parameters, you cre can create any kind of situations. You see, it's as if it's music. There are notes, but the number of tunes is unlimited. We have been uh, training for about 18 months together, and we have uh, gone through the backup crew uh, training. So we have worked together, and uh, we're a team. Um, I think there's two things that are really hard about the training. Firstly, it's a long period, two and a half years and uh, you have to retain a lot of information over that period. Sometimes you'll only get one lesson prior to actually seeing it on board the space station. So knowing what to retain and how to retain that information is, is quite an art. Um, and secondly, of course, everything we do here is in Russian, so learning Russian language has been a struggle as well. Enough to work in the Soyuz, yes. Yes, I mean, we've got lots of experiments planned, um, both in the Russian segment and in the USOS segment. In fact, there's over 250 experiments that we'll be performing throughout the uh, six-month tour. And, of course, many of those are on our human body ourselves. Uh, one in particular, for example, is Immuno 2, which investigates the body's immune system um, and how that changes with aging process. And, of course, that will affect people on Earth as well and have benefit for our, our aging population. None whatsoever. I think that's one of the great things about the training process is any concerns that you may have really are dealt with as we've gone through this uh, two and a half year training process. And by the time we get to today, you know, the final
final exam, uh, we've covered all eventualities. I can start with uh, with the answer. You know, through the training process, even if uh, someone hasn't flown before, they are 100% ready because uh, one, the training process accounts for that, and uh, and also the the new flyer can can relate to uh, the people who have experience, and we try to transfer that information. Our prime goal right now is to ascend to orbit and dock to the station, and our program is very diverse. Uh, we have a lot of dynamic operations. We're going to see a lot of transportation uh, and cargo vehicles arrive uh, that we need to uh, dock and undock. Um, for the Russian segment program, we're going to have two cargo vehicles arrive during our stay. Then also there will be a Russian EVA planned. And we have about 10 tasks then we, that we need to perform. Uh, a very diverse science program, over 50 experiments. Uh, for the uh, program of the Russian segment, and we're going to work on that. And um, my Russian co uh, Cosmo colleagues and myself are going to work uh, to achieve these goals. And our partner programs uh, uh, are also diverse. They have a lot of tasks. And the expedition is going to be very intense and very busy. We're going to be about six months on board over uh, 170 days. We give each other advice every day uh, for different uh, subjects. When a person goes to space for the first time, uh, they will be uh, looking very attentively around what's going on around them, and if something uh, comes up uh, that um, they're unclear how to react to, we can discuss it and uh, no rush. Uh, things in space um, happen very slowly. The velocity is uh, high, but uh, everything happens slowly, so there will be no rush. Uh, gosh, I, I mean, I think the whole experience is, is a huge privilege uh, and it's going to be tremendously exciting, but seeing that first view of planet Earth from space is, is probably going to be the most exciting moment. Okay. Dear Commission members, uh, crew members of Expedition 46-47 are ready. Good job. Good job. Take your card. Good morning. Put the date, please. Team, your turn. Do you have any questions? Of course. I am comfortable working with this crew. They're very well trained. They're very nice people. They have the same names. 
We're ready not just for training, uh, we're ready for the flight. We've been training together for a long time. Everything is fine. We're going to do our final exams. Thank you. Do you think it's going to be complicated? Well, it's going to look like any other working day on board of the station. The difference is we're going to have uh, phenomenal uh, situations that are going to be built into the um, script. We will have to be uh, very attentive uh, to make sure we don't miss uh, the start of the phenomenal situation. Uh, it's going to be a very intense, busy day. Yuri Ivanovich. The crew is ready for any situations as far as the electrical power system is concerned or other systems. Um, they are usually uh, design of nominal situations. They're predictable. The crew members are well trained to perform the procedures to deal with the situations either independently or jointly with the ground mission control. There are some of nominal situations um, that have not, they're not predictable, that need to be analyzed carefully. Uh, that requires um, a deeper level of knowledge and talking to the ground uh, specialists. Uh, the ground specialists uh, work on that carefully and they uh, prepare a solution. It's your sixth flight. Uh, this flight is uh, planned a very interesting one. It's full of various tasks. I would say as far as uh, its complexity level, it's above average. You're talking about the electrical power system malfunction. It didn't result in any specific consequence that would uh, complicate the stay of the crew on board. It is a serious situation, but it was dealt with quickly, and it didn't deteriorate um, the um, environment of the crew on board. What uh, experience uh, you want to do on NKS? Well, we want to do our, our job uh, while we're on board. We have lots of experiments. Uh, there may be some spacewalks during our mission, and several new vehicles will be docking. So we'll have a very busy time on board. Do you speak Russian well? Yes, we can work hard. Uh, when we are uh, going to live there. And it's a very good experience. Uh, we will be able to uh, see Earth. We can operate uh, the robotic arm. We can go out uh, during an EVA. We can spend our time well. Uh, your colleagues are now growing flowers on board, and they recently grew cabbage. Do you have something interesting like that? Yeah, but do you plan? Do you have a plan to do this? Unfortunately not. Maybe next time. Yeah. Uh, can you introduce us to your crew and tell us a little bit about the time you spent training with them? Absolutely. We have a, a fabulous uh, Soyuz crew, and we'll join a great crew on board. Uh, Yuri Malenchika, uh, very experienced cosmonaut. This will be his sixth flight. He's flown on the shuttle before. He's commanded uh, the Soyuz many times, as well as both the space station and, uh, and the Mir space station. So we're, we're quite fortunate to have such an experienced um, cosmonaut with us on board. Uh, Tim Peake, a very experienced experimental test pilot, and he's joined us. This will be his first flight. And uh, we've had a great time training together. It's been a great experience over the last couple of years, and we are very ready to go. Uh, I may ask you another question. You have an EVA planned. What is the program? Uh, this EVA is uh, going to be um, planned uh, for the purpose of the Russian uh, segment program. The main part of the EVA is um, going to have five tasks, uh, science uh, research and technology research, uh, very fine various technologies. 
Uh, moreover, we're going to install additional handrails that are going to be used in the future for crew translation on the outside of the station. We're going to take photographs of the MLI and the outside surface of the station. Uh, is this a long uh, duration, six months? Well, that's a long time, yes, but we're going to be very busy when we're going to be working there on the station. So the time flies. I'll be in the right-hand seat, which has uh, much fewer responsibilities than the, the commander or the left-hand seat. Once on board the station for our six-month mission, all crew members are trained up to a fairly similar level. So that will include uh, the possibility of uh, visiting vehicles using the robotic arm, completing spacewalks, EVA, if they're scheduled during our mission, and of course conducting all of the scientific experiments that we have planned for the six-month mission. Dear colleagues, uh, please stay uh, here together. The um, head of the center will come here in a minute. Today is the main day. The crew members have undergone a long uh, training as well as on the Russian segment uh, and uh, in NASA in the U.S. and in the European Space Agency in JAXA. Uh, in Japan. Uh, the crew members have shown very good results uh, prior to the integrated simulation uh, training. The crew members have passed the exam uh, for manual modes, uh, docking, undocking, descent, and they pass with excellent grades. Uh, wait for everyone to join you. Uh, Dear Chairman of the Exam Commission, the crew member, backup crew members of the 46, 47 crew members are ready for uh, the examination. Good morning. Is everybody ready? Our job is to uh, essentially do everything that the primary crew does and serve as their backup. And Tukui and I have been training here for about two and a half years. Uh, the training program includes station training and slaves training as well. Yes. I worked um, as a biologist, and I'm very interested in the uh, science experiments. I'm hoping to uh, perform some experiments with the uh, protein cells. It would be very interesting to see how biological organisms behave in space. Thank you very much. Uh, let's move on to the next 